Hey, have you ever watched a video for QTS numeracy where the instructor takes absolutely ages to answer the questions? Me too. So in this demo video, I'll complete the 12 mental arithmetic questions in the same time conditions as you have in the actual QTS test. If you like the video, please let me know by posting a comment or just pressing the thumbs up button in YouTube. For more practice tests and other resources, please see our website at qtsmathstest.com. Practice question. A parents' evening was planned to start at 16.30. There were 20 consecutive appointments of 10 minutes each and a break of 15 minutes during the evening. At what time was the parents' evening due to finish? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. A parents' evening was planned to start at 16.30. There were 20 consecutive appointments of 10 minutes each and a break of 15 minutes during the evening. At what time was the parents' evening due to finish? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. Okay, in the time questions, always start by adding up how much time was elapsed. So here we have 200 minutes for the appointments, which is 3 hours and 20 minutes. Add 15 minutes for 3 hours 35, and then add that in stages to get the final answer of 20.05. Teachers organised activities for three classes of 24 pupils and four classes of 28 pupils. What was the total number of pupils involved? Teachers organised activities for three classes of 24 pupils and four classes of 28 pupils. What was the total number of pupils involved? Okay, so basic arithmetic, 24 times 3 is 72, 28 times 4 I doubled and doubled again to get 112, and then you add them together to get 184. Question 2. All 30 pupils in a class took part in a sponsored spell to raise money for charity. The pupils were expected to get an average of 18 spellings correct each. The average amount of sponsorship was 20 pence for each correct spelling. How many pounds would the class expect to raise for charity? All 30 pupils in a class took part in a sponsored spell to raise money for charity. The pupils were expected to get an average of 18 spellings correct each. The average amount of sponsorship was 20 pence for each correct spelling. How many pounds would the class expect to raise for charity? Okay, so we have to multiply all these numbers together and we can do them in any order we like. So 18 times 2p would be 36p, so times 20p would be 360p or 3 times 60. We have to times that by 30, but times by 10 first is easier to get 36 pounds times by 3 to get 108 As pounds. part of the numeracy work in a lesson, pupils were asked to stretch a spring to extend its length by 40%. The original length of the spring was 45 centimetres. What should be the length <coughs> of the extended spring? Give your answer in centimetres. As part of the numeracy work in a lesson, pupils were asked to stretch a spring to extend its length by 40%. The original length of the spring was 45 centimetres. What should be the length of the extended spring? Give your answer in centimetres. Okay, so 10% would be 4.5 centimetres, so double that, you get 9 centimetres, but we want 40%, so it's doubled again for 18. We have to add that 18 to the original length of 45 to get 63 centimetres. Question 4. For a science experiment, 
A teacher needed 95 cubic centimeters of vinegar for each pupil. There were 20 pupils in the class. Vinegar comes in 1,000 cubic centimeter bottles. How many bottles of vinegar were needed? For a science experiment, a teacher needed 95 cubic centimeters of vinegar for each pupil. There were 20 pupils in the class. Vinegar comes in 1,000 cubic centimeter bottles. How many bottles of vinegar were needed? So we have to do 95 times 20, but once again, it's easier to first times by 10, so you just add a zero. So times 20 is just another 950, so 1,900 centiliters of liquid. Um, so one bottle is 1,000, so we need two bottles. The morning session in a school began at 0925. There were three lessons of 50 minutes each and one break of 20 minutes. At what time did the morning session end? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. The morning session in a school began at 0925. There were three lessons of 50 minutes each and one break of 20 minutes. At what time did the morning session end? <coughs> Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. So the time elapsed is 3 times 50 minutes, which is 150 minutes, or 2 hours and 30 minutes. We add on the break time to get 2 hours and 50. Think of adding 3 hours and taking off 10 minutes. So add 3 hours, we're on 12.25. Six out of 25 pupils scored full marks in a test. What percentage of pupils scored full marks? Six out of 25 pupils scored full marks in a test. What percentage of pupils scored full <coughs> marks? So our fraction is six out of 25. So times top and bottom by 4, and we get 24 out of 100. Percent means out of 100, so 24% is the answer. What is 643 divided by 0 0.1? What is 643 divided by 0 0.1. So this is a, a basic arithmetic question. So if you're ever dividing by a fraction, flip the fraction first. And we get 643 times 10 divided by 1 question eight. stays the same. In a class of 24 pupils, 3 need additional support. What fraction of the class do not need additional support? Give your answer in its lowest terms. In a class of 24 pupils, 3 need additional support. What fraction of the class do not need additional support? Give your answer in its lowest terms. So don't be tricked by this question. We want the pupils who do not need the additional support, which is 21 out of 24. So we simplify the fraction by dividing by 3, top and bottom, to get 7 eighths. <clears throat> a teacher took a group of pupils to an aquarium whilst visiting France. The total entrance cost for the group was 160 euros. Taking 1.6 euros as equal to 1 pound, what was the total entrance cost in pounds for the group of pupils? A teacher took a group of pupils to an aquarium whilst visiting France. The total entrance cost for the group was 160 euros. Taking 1.6 euros as equal to one pound, what was the total entrance cost in pounds for the group of pupils? Okay, with these questions, they always give you the conversion rule, so use that to 
get to the target. So 1.6 euros, we have to think, well, what can we times by to get to 160? So do it in stages, times 10 to get 16, times another Question 10. Question 10. And the same on the other side. A pupil achieved 84 marks out of a possible 120 in a test. What percentage mark did the pupil achieve for the test? A pupil achieved 84 marks out of a possible 120 in a test. What percentage mark did the pupil achieve for the test? So we've got quite a difficult number on the bottom of a fraction, so we simplify the fraction until we can recognise the percent. So divide top and bottom by 2 to get 42 out of 60, divide by 6 to get 7 tenths, which is 70%. A school trip was planned at a total cost of £120 per pupil. The accommodation cost two-fifths of the total. What was the cost of the accommodation per pupil? A school trip was planned at a total cost of £120 per pupil. The accommodation cost two-fifths of the total. What was the cost of the accommodation per pupil? So one fifth is twenty percent, so two fifths is forty percent. We use our standard method of working out what ten percent is, which is just twelve. Twelve times four to get forty percent is forty eight pounds. Question twelve. A school's policy for key stage two was to set three and a half hours of homework per week. What was the mean number of minutes to be spent on homework per weekday evening? A school's policy for Key Stage 2 was to set three and a half hours of homework per week. What was the mean number of minutes to be spent on homework per weekday evening? So three and a half hours is 210 minutes and there's five weekdays, so we need 210 divided by five. The quick way to do this is to divide by 10 first and then times by 2. So divided by 10, you get 21 times 2, 42 minutes. So I hope you found this video useful and can start to spot some of the shortcut methods to some of the solutions. Don't expect success overnight. It might take a little while and a bit of practice, but keep up the practice and you will get there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.